Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Morning folks on the Isle of Barra and they're just boiling some water. It's pissing down. It's got the tent uh, door closed and the uh, obviously the cooker outside because I don't want carbon monoxide poisoning. And um, just gonna have a pot noodle and um, a coffee uh, with this um, coffee bag. I've got a link in the description where you can buy these. In today's episode, I didn't catch the bus, I didn't hitchhike, I actually walked all the way uh, into Vatasee across the causeway. It is also the start of the Hebridean Way, which I've been to before. And in Vatasee, you'll find um, facilities such as a shower block, um, and there is a place to world camp there too. However, I camped up the beach at the far end, away from the uh, toilet and shower block, because it's a nicer beach and it's more peaceful. On the way, I did some shopping at the co-op supermarket, which there is in Castle Bay. In fact, there is a few shops in Castle Bay, but obviously the co-op supermarket is the biggest one with the most choice, I guess. So I did some shopping there before I headed out to that to say across the causeway. Doesn't work anymore. Folks, do you think this is a giant slug? Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so this place has changed. The last time I came here it was a donation. Now you have to put money for the showers. There's a little sign there about it. I've also noticed they've closed off the power sockets, so now you can't charge your gear up, whereas before you could. Uh, just in case I uh, lose me a drone in the sea or somewhere like that where I can't retrieve it, um, I back up the memory card on one of these. This is quite an old 
old one I got at second hand. It's not that great. The battery doesn't last very long, but I think you can get more modern ones now. Uh, basically, it's um, a portable hard drive that you can back up your memory card without needing a laptop. Um, you just stick the memory card in the side there and press a button and it will copy the memory card. Um, the only indication it's copying is a flashing light, so you have no way of knowing if it's copied okay. you just got to hope and pray to God that it's uh, backed it up. And I'll put this uh, memory card in one of these adapters and then stick it into the um, portable hard drive. In like that. And then I will uh, turn the hard drive on. Hopefully it's still got battery power. Sometimes uh, it switches itself on in my bag because it's quite easy to press the um, power button. You want it level. So I'm going to um, put my um, drone box to give it a bit of a level surface. Hopefully that's level. And um, I've just got to press this button. Tap it. And now... This uh, flashing light here is the only thing indicating that the um, memory card's being um, copied. And once uh, that stops flashing, that tells me that the memory card has been copied, hopefully. Hello. <laughs> Okay folks, it's the usual drill. I've got a summit to eat, a uh, beef stew with potato to eat. Uh, I've just got some water on the boil there. Um, and I'm gonna have um, a green tea as well. Okay, so that is ready now. Okay, so um, just got the hot water and resealed that. Waiting for it to cool down. And I've got my uh, hot water and my tea. And I'm just gonna bring this uh, cooker in so it doesn't get wet because it's raining and when it gets water in it it's really hard to light it uh, careful not to uh, mount my tent there and i will now relax well that's my uh, beef stew ready it looks good and it smells good 
And as usual, that was highly delicious. Link in the description, folks. It takes an immense amount of time and effort to make these videos. It also costs me a fair bit too. You'll be helping me out a hell of a lot if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.